Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Chiro's Aspirations. As we are doing, we are in the chapter of linear equations in two variables for CBSE. So today we will be starting with the same topic that was in the previous video we were doing the word problems related to linear equations in two variables, right? So today also we will continue the concept whereas in the last video we discussed about the age based problems and today we are going to discuss about the digit based problems. So digit based problems we can convert to linear equations and solve and find the values for x and y and then we can take we can find the particular solution for that given question. I hope you people are enjoying and if you don't if you still didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel so that it gives me motivations and if you like if you like this video like it comment and share now we'll go to the video the people who are new to my channel hi this is chiranjeevi i am a max teacher yes we we'll directly go to the video that today's concept see word problem digit based problem today we are going to discuss about the digit based problems Generally, the difference between digit and a number, for example, 784 is a number. Whereas, 4, 8 and 7 is individual digits which takes different place. And, you are already familiar in your previous classes, that is primary classes, about the place value and the face value. So, entire 784 is the face value and the place value is 4 takes a different place. 8 takes a different place and 7 takes a different place. So here, this is the units place and this is the tens place and this is the hundreds place. Isn't it? This is units, tens, hundreds. Which means, we can just take 7 into, it is in the hundreds place right, 100 plus 8 into, it is in the tens place right, 10 plus 4 into units place 1. So, 700 plus 80 plus 4, which gives 784. Understanding? So, a particular number and digit. Here, with respect to the linear equations, we are going to see, we are going to solve digit based problems. So, that you should be aware of what is happening in the units place and test place. Any number, any number if you take, see, for example, 54. Here, 4 takes the 1's place and 5 takes the 10's place. So 5 into 10 plus 4 into 1, that is nothing but 54. It goes like this. Understanding why I am taking 10 in the place of 10. Okay, these things are very basics which you would have been studying in your primary classes. Now coming to the actual problem, digit based problem. Here, what happens is, they ask the question in the form of digit. Okay. So, yeah, based on the condition, what they give in the question, based on that, we are going to solve. But before solving that, the first step, what we need to do with the digit based problems is so, uh, for the linear equations, we have x and y, two unknowns, right? So, obviously, they will be giving two digits. They will not give three digits, only two digits with respect to linear equations. So, two digit, if we consider, okay, one digit will be x, y. Okay, so if we take x, x is one digit and y is another digit, we consider this, right? So this way, we can take and we can see. See, for example, 74, the sum of 7 and 4 is 11, right? 7 plus 4 is equal to 11, okay? So this is one condition they will be giving in the questions. So anything... Uh, you can take any number, for example, x is one digit and y is another digit. We can add that and see what's going to happen. As I said initially, if we take 74, this is 1's place and this is 10's place. So we can take 7 into 10 plus 4 into 1, right? So if we consider x and y, it goes like this 10 into x plus y into 1, that is 10x plus y, or x plus 10y, any way we can take. So, to summarize this concept, once again I repeat, so let the units place be x, units place be x and the tens place be y. Then what happens? It becomes 
टेन वाई प्लस एक्स और एक्स प्लस टेन वाई दिस इज वन कंडीशन वॉट एवर द डिजिट बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज वन इज अट प्लेस एंड अदर इज टेन प्लेस If we add, we'll be getting. I showed you example also, right? Any number, if you add, fifty-four, five into ten in the tens place, plus four into one in the ones place. So this becomes fifty-four, right? Similarly here, in the units place, I'm taking x, and in the tens place, I'm taking y. So it becomes ten y plus x. So whereas if we reverse, so there are uh, problems. So when we reverse, what happens? The units place takes y. And the x place, that is the tens place takes x. So then that becomes ten x plus y. These two conditions you should be careful of taking. That is either in the unit place if you take x, then the y takes the tenth place. If unit place is y, then the x takes the tenth place. Okay. Based on this, we can solve the problems. We can directly go to the problems. Now, this problem is digit based problem. So, read the problem very carefully. Here they are telling that the sum of the digits of a two-digit number. They are indicating two digit. It is a two-digit number. Okay. The sum. Sum means addition. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is nine. So there is a two-digit number. If we add that number, we will be getting nine. Also, nine times this number. Which number? When we add, we we'll get some particular number, right? So th that number. Is twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits. So they are telling that nine times the two-digit number that will be equal to twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits. Which means after reversing the order of the digits, which means the tens place goes to the ones place and the ones place goes to the tens place. That particular number is twice. That will be equal to the nine times the initial before reversing. Okay, so find the number they are asking. Okay, simple step by step we'll go for the solution. Okay, so first thing is when it is in the digit based problem. So first let us consider let the units place be x and tenth place. B Y. Okay. So here, let the unit place be x and tenth place be y. So what happens here? The tenth place is y, right? That becomes ten y plus x. Or we can write this as x plus ten y. Okay. Now according to the question, this is the thing. Which we are going to consider, right? So, according to the question, what they are telling the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is nine, which means here the units place x and y we are considering. So, x plus y is equal to nine, right? So, they are telling the sum of the two-digit number is nine. So, x plus y is equal to nine. Now, by reversing, by reversing. The order of the digits. What happens? So x takes the place of ones and y takes the place of tens. Okay, that is the thing happened here, right? We are reversing that. So what happens here? X is one, y is ten, right? So here we'll be writing x is ten and y is one. So y is taking ones place and x is taking tens place. So this is one form of equation. We got. Now the second condition of the question here. If we see the second condition of the question, also nine times this number. Which number? This number. Nine times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the order. By reversing the order, we got this one right. Ten x plus y. So twice that will be. So we need to find the number. So one equation already we got this as equation one. Yes. So this equation we got x plus y is equal to nine. By the question itself. We got that. So next, what we are going to do here by reversing the order, we got this right. Now, according to the condition, nine times, which means nine times this number, which number that is x plus ten y is equal to 
is twice the number obtained by reverse in the order. By reverse in the order, we got 10x plus y, right? That is twice. So twice 10x plus y. What we'll be getting? This is 9x plus 9 into 10y. That is 90y. That is equal to 2 into 10x, 20x. 2 into y plus 2y. Now, all the x one side and y one side I'm going to take. So what happens? 9x minus 20x. That is equal to 2y minus 90y. Okay, so what happens here? This becomes minus 11x, right? This becomes minus 88y. And here, 11 and 88, the 11 is common. I am going to divide throughout 11. So that divide by 11, I will be getting minus x is equal to minus 8y. Okay? Now, I can bring this x this side. So it becomes x minus 8y is equal to 0. So I got the second equation also. Based on the conditions, based on the conditions given the question, I have taken this, that is, first I took the two digit number in the form of x and y, that is a 10y plus x, that is x plus 10y, and also reversing the order, I got 10x plus y. I took that and I given 9 times is equal to 2 times of the reversed order. So I have taken that simplified, I got next equation. Now, what is the thing? It's simple. Here we have already an equation 1 and this is equation 2. Having these two equations solved by any one of the method which we have done in the previous sessions and find the value of x and y. So, one equation is x plus y is equal to 9. Another equation is x minus 8y is equal to 0. Let us subtract. So, when we subtract the sign changes, this becomes minus, this becomes plus and this becomes minus. Right? So, plus x minus x gets cancelled. Plus and plus this becomes 9y and this becomes 9 minus 0 is 9. So, y is equal to 9 by 9. y is equal to 1. Now, y value I got as 1. Next, similar substitute this value in any one of the thing and find the value of x. So, x plus y is equal to 9. In the place of y, I am going to substitute 1. So, x plus 1 is equal to 9. So, x is equal to 9 minus 1. x is equal to 8. So, therefore, we found the values of x and y. Which means, so initially what did we consider? Let the units place be x. And the tens place be y. So, units places x, right? Units places x and tens places y. Which means, already we know that the required number, let us take like this. Required number is x, y, right? Sorry, y, x. Okay x is in the unit place and y in the 10th place. So, already we know the value of x and y, right? So, just substitute in that place. So, that is equal to y is 1 and x is 8. So, the required number is 18. So, based on the conditions given, they are indirectly speaking about the two digit number 18. That is, so x takes the unit place so, x value we got it as 8 and 8 in the units place and y takes the tens place and y is 1 and it is tens place. So, 1 plus 8 is 9. That is the condition. The condition is satisfied. They are telling that the sum of the digits of a two digit number is 9. So, if we add 1 plus 8, we will be getting 9. So, our value of x and y is correct. This way, just in this type of problem, we should focus one thing that is x plus 10y and 10x plus y. Reversing the order, you should take that. And according to the conditions, whatever the conditions they have given in the equations, so according to that, we can take and solve. And already one equation, they will be given the equation. Another equation, you should form by taking the conditions and then solve for x and y. You will be getting the particular digit. This way, we can solve any word problem based on digit based. So, two digit based and you can solve the problem. I hope you enjoyed this problem and if you like this video, like it, comment, share and please subscribe. So if you like and support, then I will get more enthusiasm and a zeal of spirit to work on more content and I will be delivering that. Okay. 
so if you like it like comment and share and uh, i am on the process of linear equations soon i'll be completing this and it'll be going to quadratic equations and many other fascinating maths and science concepts also till that stay tuned watch this video and enjoy bye